Hello, I'm Steve Whittemore, CEO of Imuron. We're listed on the ASX, IMC, and NASDAQ, IMRN. We have a technology platform for gut-mediated diseases based around bovine colostrum. Unlike in humans, where immunity is passed from the mother to the child through the placental wall, in a cow, this is passed through bovine colostrum, which is that first milk, which is rich in a number of factors uh, listed on the screen. Uh, we take advantage of that cow to essentially be the, the drug factory for the uh, targeted pathogen. And in the case of Travelan, that's E. coli. First, we develop a pri proprietary vaccine. In, in the case of Travelan, there's 13 different types of enterotoxigenic E. coli. And that becomes the drug product after we process it to remove the fat, most of the lactose, spray dry it, and compress it into a tablet. In Australia and Canada, we have health claims uh, and in the case of Travelan, that's for reducing uh, the occurrence of traveller's diarrhoea, amongst other gut and liver benefits. Just having a quick look at the uh, market potential for products using our technology. And in the case of Travelan, you can see that, uh, well, last year we did $1.8 million in sales, up 136% on the prior year. In the first quarter of uh, financial year FY24, we've already done $1.5 million. And this is even above pre-pandemic level sales. Sales are growing strongly as international travel continues to increase. This is a tailwind. And you noted by the uh, CDC Yellow Book, uh, 30 to 70% of travellers to high-risk regions. So in the case of Australia, that's uh, you know, Bali. And uh, for our American uh, customers, that would be Mexico or, or the Caribbean. They experience travellers' diarrhoea. And Travelland offers them the opportunity to avoid getting it and to have a safe and healthy holiday. The market potential for travel in the US and Europe, as you can see on the screen here, is some $83 million and $50 million respectively, so large growth potential. We have a strong pipeline, a couple of uh, internal programs, that's IMM124E, which is uh, Travelan for Clostridioides Dysphysile. We have IMM529 and two partnered programs, uh, Travelan uh, in a phase four study with the Uniform Services University and Camp ETech in collaboration with the Naval Medical Research Command, uh, focusing on Campylobacter and enterotoxigenic E. coli. Three of these clinical programs are funded by US Department of Defense uh, grant funding, and that's the IMM124E, the, the Travelland USU study, and the Camp ETech study. We have a number of near-term milestones, anticipated drug value coming up in the near future. We just reported yesterday, 50% uh, of patients were enrolled in the second cohort of our Travelland Controlled Human Infection Model Study. We're looking for top-line results for that study before the end of this financial year in June 2024. The Camp ETEC program, which has FDA IND approval, we're going through the uh, process of get, getting Institutional Review Board uh, uh, approvals to start a Phase 2 study, anticipated to start uh, early in the, uh, the coming calendar year. With regard to IMM 529, this is a $1.7 billion market opportunity. Uh, we're looking to start a phase two trial in both primary and recurrent uh, patients. Uh, the plan is to file a pre-IND with the FDA by the end of this uh, calendar year and to also manufacture a clinical product for the uh, uh, upcoming trial. The Travelland USU, Uniform Services University study that I mentioned before, is a large trial. It's 868 patients, and these are active US and UK military personnel uh, in a placebo-controlled trial of Travelan, showing whether in these active military personnel traveling to high-risk regions, whether we can prevent traveler's diarrhea. Thank you for your time.